Off the top at six, breaking news following allegations of animal cruelty at a major Florida dairy. The details surfacing about an hour ago. We have to warn you, the video you're about to see is rather disturbing. One of the dairy's biggest customers, Public Supermarkets, has just announced it has stopped buying milk from that dairy. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has our report from Okeechobee. Gary? This video of dairy cows being beaten and jabbed with a steel rod or rebar was taken by an undercover operative with the activist group Animal Recovery Mission, or ARM. The activist got hired as a worker for Okeechobee-based Larson Dairy, the largest milk producer in the state. ARM says the steel rod the animals were beaten with was used to make them move more quickly into and out of their milking stalls. On day one, we started seeing serious abuse by the milkers, by the managers, by the foreman. Arm says their member worked at the farm for just under a month. Imagine a piece of steel rebar being jabbed at the head of any living thing. The behavior wasn't isolated, Arm says, that its agent witnessed it every day. The abuse continued as the days went on. At Larson's corporate headquarters, no one would speak to us, but the owner issued a statement saying, we have strict protocols involving animal care, and clearly the behavior shown in this video goes against everything we stand for and will not be tolerated. One of the dairy's biggest customers is Publix, and late today Publix said we are disturbed by the images and shocked by the cruelty shown toward the animals. We are suspending raw milk deliveries from that farm. At Publix, we care about and are committed to animal welfare. ARM has given the recordings to the Okeechobee Sheriff's Office. A high-level source in the state attorney's office calls the images ugly and disturbing. The case is now under criminal investigation. Arm says its investigator went through an extensive application process to get a job with the dairy, including signing papers promising he would not engage in animal abuse. In Okeechobee, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.